Hey guys, it's Andrew and Knight, and today I'm going to show you how you can get the iOS 7 control center on your Android phone. This is really easy to do, you don't need to be rooted or anything, you just need to go to the link in the description and download the app, and it is called Control Center. And I'm just going to quickly run through the settings within the application. You've got a toggle up here, which just turns the service on and off. You've then got an option here, which shows an arrow indicator at the bottom of the screen, and I'm just going to show you what that looks like. You can see it just under the Instagram logo, there's a small white small white arrow, uh, let's see if you can see it uh, I think you can just about see it there but that just shows you um, if the service is on and off I don't particularly like having it there so I normally have it off um, touchable area, this allows you to customise the area which will actually launch the control centre, I've got it set to centre it but then I've also extended the width so that it covers the whole screen um, this for me seemed to work the best, it will just depend on the phone you're running whether you've got a custom ROM with um, sort of gestures around the bottom, things like that you can also mess around with the height, again it starts a little bit small for me, I found that putting it about halfway worked the best. And then if we go back you can also turn off the vibration, um, I just keep it on because it's a, bit more, it's a bit more reassuring when you touch the right area to feel it vibrate, you know you're going to launch the control center. But I'm just going to now show you what it looks like. So you can see it stays pretty true to form with the iOS control center, you've got a airplane mode, Wi-Fi on and off, Bluetooth toggle network toggle and you can turn auto rotate on or off you've then got a slider for brightness as well as a little automatic brightness toggle you've then got a sound slider, an alarm sound slider a toggle there to turn your alarms on or off and one to turn vibration on or off you've then got these toggles along the bottom the first one just turns the torch on and off which is actually kind of nice the next one launches your alarms and then you've got a calculator one, a camera one and one which launches this slightly odd game center which I believe is just a web page which is trying to get you to download some games one of the few things you can actually customize is which apps launch when you touch the icons on the bottom so for example if you long press the calculator I can then choose Chrome and now if I tap the calculator it will launch into Chrome however as you can see the icon doesn't change so you will have to remember um, which application you've assigned where and you can't actually customize the buttons at all um, you can't customize the way it looks any more than I've just shown you which is sort of a theme within iOS itself so maybe that's what the developer was going for but if you do want to just mimic iOS 7 and sort of irritate your friends who've got iPhones um, yeah this definitely works and it looks pretty good and it's actually vaguely functional I wouldn't use it every day because it doesn't look like Android um, and I believe the notification system with the quick settings is more useful than this but it's a pretty cool thing to do if you want to annoy some people with iPhones or if you just want to see what it looks like and if you use this with some things like SBA Launcher or a few other apps you'll be able to theme your entire device to look like iOS if you want to so yeah this has been Andrew and Knight please subscribe if you haven't seen before comment below if there's anything else you'd like to see and